G'day guys, Ben from Snowy's here and today we're going to be talking about one of our most affordable hiking tents in our range, the Companion Pro Hiker 2 here in front of me. This is a fantastic tent, super popular amongst scout groups, school groups, you name it, this tent holds up here in Australia. It's 2.7 kilograms, now for two people that's pretty good, alright? The fly has a 3000 mil waterhead rating, whereas the floor has a 4000 mil waterhead rating. So when it comes to being waterproof, this tent here does the job. The poles are made from an 8.5 millimeter aluminum alloy, all right, so that's incredibly strong. So you pull it out of the box, comes here in its stuff sack. Really cool, you've got your compression straps here to keep it nice and tight. So in your bag, you get your fly, all right, that's the green bit. You get your tent inner, the grey bit, your pole bag and your pegs. Pretty straightforward. You'll also get a gear net. Now you don't always need this, but we'll show you how to use that in a moment. So the first thing you want to do, you just want to lay your tent in or out. So once you've pegged in your four corners through the rope, you've got two sets of poles. And all you need to do, do one at a time, connect these up, just make sure they get in the slots here. So you come around the far side here, you've got these sleeves. Really simple, you just feed it through the sleeve. The other great thing about this tent is that right here in the middle, there's no joining, all right? So this pole will just feed straight through. From here, what we wanna do, we're gonna drop it in the eyelet in one corner. We're gonna come around to the other corner here and we're just gonna start to push that up, all right? Make sure the tent doesn't get caught there. Drop it in the other eyelet. Now the benefit with this tent is that if it's during the middle of summer, you're sure it's not gonna rain, there you go. You've got a tent ready to go. But if you're a little bit concerned about the rain, then we bring the fly in. You can see that you've got doors on either side, so you can't really get this one mixed up. You wanna look for the branding. That branding shows you uh, basically where your doors are. All right, and so here we go. We're just gonna drag this over the top. One of the beauties of the Hike 10 is that because it's so small, getting that fly on is pretty straightforward. From here, you got your fly again. So we're gonna just pull these poles out, drop them through the eyelet of the fly, drop them through the eyelet of the inner, and there we go. And we'll just do this for each corner again. All right, and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna tie out the vegetables. Unless it's really strong conditions, you just wanna be pegging down the side that you're not gonna use as the door. We'll go this side, and the last thing left we've got to do, you should have two pegs left, and these are for your guy ropes here at the end. All right, just pull these out basically. These guy ropes are super important in giving the tent stability, especially in the wind, in they go. All righty, so let's talk a little bit about the features here of the Pro Hiker 2. At the front here, and on the back side, you've got this vestibule. Now this vestibule's fantastic so that you can store your gear if you need be. Whether it be your hiking pack, your shoes, your esky, whatever it is, that can fit in here before jumping into the inner of the tent. The other great thing is that you can roll this vestibule back. Now doing it like this is super handy because you can still keep your gear here under cover on this side. But the beauty of the Pro Hiker 2 is that you can actually open it right up. So you just take it out of the peg there, all right? And then you can roll this side back as well. And what this gives you now is a beautifully exposed tent so that you can get all that fresh air in, that sunshine in, whatever it is that you're after, we can make it happen. We're gonna jump in the tent and then we're gonna show you a few extra little features from inside the tent that you might be interested in. Alrighty, so you've jumped in the tent for the first time, you've unzipped your mesh. Now the great thing here is this mesh We'll all meet at this point here, all right? And then you can bunch it up like this and there's a nice little pocket here on the inside that you can just tuck that into, gets it out of the way. The other thing you shouldn't forget is your stuff sack, all right? You don't wanna lose that because that's super important for when you pack it down, all right? So this also can get put in its own little stuff sack here in the corner. And then you've got your gear mesh, all right? We're gonna stack, we're gonna stack this up here inside in just a moment, all right? So if you wanna come in, have a look, I'm gonna show you how to do this and a few other little features here inside the tent. As you can see, it's pretty spacious. We've got about 117 centimeters of height here with plenty of width to get two people in with their gear on the outside. I'm up here on my knees, touching my head on the roof, but it's pretty good for a hiking tent. Now we've got our gear loft here, all right? And that's pretty straightforward. All you just do is basically attach that here into the points of the tent. 
Now the beauty of this gear loft is it gives you the opportunity to store stuff like your phone, your keys, whatever you might need to keep it, you know, keep close and handy during the night and stuff that you don't want on the outside. The other great thing about the tent here are these ventilation points, right? So you've got these ventilation points that you can open up from the outside, run behind me, one here in front of me, as well obviously as the other door here, okay, which allows you then to be able to ventilate through the outside by opening the fly there. The other thing that's so great about having two doors is that because it's a two-person tent, that gives each person a door each. It also gives them storage space for their own gear, so you don't have to be climbing over each other during the night to get out to go for a whiz or anything like that. You've got your own space, your own side, makes it really practical. Alrighty guys, so that's pretty much it in terms of the tent. So now it's time to pack it down, so make sure you grab your stuff sack out of the tent, grab your peg bag, then what we're going to start doing, making sure everything's undone and zipped up again. So we take the pegs out, take the guy ropes out, and then we go back to every corner and we start undoing those corners again. Now because we're packing down this time and we know we're bringing it straight down, you can just take the poles straight out. Once that's done, the fly comes straight off, and then we're just going to start pulling these poles out one at a just gently like that, just until you lower the tent. And then they should slide just straight out like that. Now I find the easiest way to fold it up is basically to fold the fly and the inner all together. You may need to keep that fly separate. If it's been a bit wet overnight or there's a bit of moisture on the fly, you might want to look to try and dry that out obviously as much as you can before then wrapping it up in with the inner. So make sure you get your final pegs out here. The way that I do it is pretty simple. We're just going to fold it into thirds and then we're going to roll it up from there. Now before you get to this last bit, grab your pegs and your poles so you can keep them all together. Stuff them in. Back into the bag, you get your roll top closure. Roll that shut. Bring your compression straps in together. So there you have it. The Pro Hike is back in its bag, ready to go into your rucksack. Now, if you've got any questions, you can jump online or give us a call and we'd love to help. And don't forget that we're happy to deliver right across Australia for free. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.